as always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best prices on tools and parts we use in today's project. Well, today we're really just using a tool. So this is a pressure tester. This is a car with a coolant leaking problem. So what you're gonna do? Come over here. This is this one's for Harbor Freight, but really. I'm going to put a link in the description for an Amazon one. They're the exact same, and they're a little bit more affordable on Amazon. So, you know, it'll look the same. It comes with all these different pieces and your pressure tester. So you're going to find the right piece for your car. In our case, it's this one. You're going to come on over. You're going to stick this guy on here. And then we're going to put our pressure tester on. And then you're going to pump it up. And this thing will start to build pressure. Now... We've already pressure checked this car. We brought it up to 15 and sat for a minute and it came down, down, down to 10. And we looked under the car and that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna look for any visible kind of leaks. And I told, I told the other Jordan here, I said, hey man, I bet it's just leaking the inside of the tool or something. But we took it off, we cranked it up and we went to go bleed the system on this thing and it started shooting cooling out. That's why you see cooling all over here. So what might that mean? You turn the car on, it's throwing cooling out all over the place. Well, your cooling system has 15 pounds of pressure and your engine system has a lot more than that. I really, off the top of my head, I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know, 150 PSI or something like that in the combustion chamber. Um, so when you put that kind of pressure inside of your cooling system, you could expect to see coolant throw right up. So what does that mean? Head gasket. So have a bad head gasket. Um, and that's not good <laughs> for the customer. Uh, we feel bad for them, so we're gonna let them know. But that is how you pressure test. It's as simple as that. Just make sure the car is cool, take the radiator cap off, find the right cap, put it on there, pump it up to 15, and then watch and see if any coolant comes out. And that's it, you know, if it, if it sits there and holds 15 for a few minutes, there's a good chance that you don't have a coolant leak. And then you'll also be able to see it shooting out if you do have a coolant leak somewhere. That's it. Thanks for watching, y'all.